guys are always in the way. <laughs> Alright, it's not a party. Come on. Hey guys, Carrie here, Dirt Cheap Homesteader. So I just finished the last pile of mulch. I'm done with the mulch. Thank God. I used every bit of that mulch. Do you remember my pile? Let me show you. This was the mulch when I first got it. It's a huge pile. It's a truckload. It's bigger than a pickup truck. They bring it on this huge loader and they drop it off. So this was the pile last year when it started. And now here it is on my market garden. I used every bit of it. Hey right, guys, remember my mulch pile? How big it was? Guys, there's my mulch pile. It's completely gone. So if you haven't been watching, I'm going to take you on a little spin around the market garden, show you what I got and what I used. So let's go. Hi, Cooper. Hi, baby. Watch out. Watch out. Always wants a butt rub. Right? Good boy. Okay, so here's what I've done here. I put some free scrap wood down, but I put it down just to hold the mulch in. This bed hopefully will sink and be ground level. I'm not going for a raised bed here. So I put some boards up. The cinder blocks are just to hold the boards in place. Underneath of all this mulch is cardboard. This is gonna kill my grass quick and it breaks down. So this is gonna block the grass and the weeds from coming up. The mulch is gonna decompose it's going to give me some nice soil in a few years. So here I have a weed barrier. Now, I may not have used the weed barrier, but I got a free roll by helping somebody clean out some sheds. So it's free. I got it. I want to use it. Now, I didn't use the weed barrier inside, just on the perimeter. And that's because I just don't want the grass to creep into my bed. It's going to be flat when it's all said and done, but I don't want it creeping into my bed. I'd like to do three feet on each side, but I really don't have the yard for that. So this is what I have, and it's just going to help me keep grass out of the bed. I didn't use it on the inside because I have cardboard, and the cardboard is going to break down, and all that grass is going to become organic matter, and I want that to feed my garden bed, so don't put the weed bear on there because then there's a barrier to all that organic matter. So I have it as even as I can get it. It's going to rain on here. I still have like another month to plant in here, so it's going to sink, and it'll even itself out. There's no huge lumps, no huge dips, but honestly, I could use more mulch. So I just wanted to mention a few things here because I happened to see a video. They were using sawdust on their garden and I guess um, he had cut up some trees, just mulched some trees and put it directly on their garden. That's not going to work. You don't want to use this stuff fresh. It needs to age. If you put that on your plants, it's going to turn them yellow and kill them. It might be misleading the way this looks, but that mulch pile that I had out front actually sat there for a year and it's still not decomposed. Not anywhere near where it needs to be. So you can't use fresh wood chips. It'll kill your plants. How I work around that is I'm going to put a layer of topsoil mixed with compost in here. And I'm going to plant in that. There's no way I could plant in this and it not kill my plants. So it's going to be tarp until I'm ready to plant. That will speed up the decomposition. It will kill any weed seeds that I have in here and it will make it ready so I can plant. For anyone that is trying to mimic the Garden of Eden or wants to try my method, just know that you need aged wood chips. You can't use fresh wood chips and sawdust is even worse. It'll kill your plants. So just keep that in mind, okay? <coughs> Thanks, George. Now, I'm not an expert. This is a first time thing for me. So I may not know what I'm talking about. One last thing before we go. Gotta get the eggs. Two over here. And one more right there. Thanks, ladies. All right. So thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful day.